Well, hello folks, I hope you're all well. In this video, we're going to see a clearer picture of the agenda of Babylon. In a few moments, I'm going to show you a TV commercial that was released by Glenn Fiddich. And this commercial shows us a clear picture of the humanistic self-elevation, the philosophy that underpins the rise of the Antichrist. And so I'll show you that in a few moments, but just to introduce this, I want to just really help you today to, to understand the nature of this world, of this reality that we live in. Folks, we are in a spiritual battle, and I don't think sometimes we always realize the extent of that. I mean, the Bible tells us that our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against principalities and powers in high places. And that is truly what we're facing. And, you know, we go about our day-to-day -day lives and maybe it doesn't always feel like that. But I tell you, we are surrounded by souls. We are surrounded by eternal souls. If you are a Christian, you are a fisher of men. And that is what, who Jesus is. He comes to save and rescue souls. But there's also another one. There's also the devil. He comes and is hunting. He is hunting for souls. He's hunting to bring souls into destruction and he blinds the minds of unbelievers. Now, who was it? Who is the figure in the Old Testament that was referred to as the hunt master or as the mighty hunter? Can you think who that is? Yes, Nimrod, the mighty hunter, who was that first prototype of the Antichrist. He was referred to as a mighty hunter. He was a hunter for souls. And that's what you see here, uh, the hunt master, the horned god like Apollo. And that is what this is depicting. Okay, so let's watch this Glenn Fiddich commercial. It's just a short one, but this will show you the humanistic philosophy of the Antichrist, of the new Babylon, and that is exactly what we're seeing being pushed in our society as we get ever closer to the Beast Confederation. The mind is an amazing thing. It can make us love and hate mindless. gives us the power of logic and the gift of irrationality. It's what makes us more than binary and lets us play with maybe, why and what if. It searches for patterns and ways to experiment. A mind that's mastered its art is free to go beyond convention, to create a new craft beer experimental series from Glenn Fiddick. Really showing you there this humanistic philosophy, the philosophy of the Antichrist about climbing up that Tower of Babel in defiance of the Creator and the, the collective efforts of humanity to unite in defiance of God. The stag leading you into a false spirituality and the stag as a representation of the horned God. Apollo. And this is what this commercial is showing. It, look at this. It's showing you that next stage in human evolution. Do you remember Nietzsche uh, that Hitler was particularly inspired by? Nietzsche, the ubermensch, the overman. And that's what we see, that this enlightenment, these, these shots in this commercial of that human enlightenment where their, their brain is illuminated there. Now, the single eye symbolism and then it compares mindlessness to mindfulness. And we go to this forest, this uh, lady that is rising up. She's elevating like in a false spirituality, in an Eastern philosophy. You see on the right-hand side there, you've got the sun. You've got the sun coming through the trees. So this is what it's about, is that rising of the sun in the East, the Eastern philosophy, the pagan religion, and she is elevating in the forest, in the woods. Uh, we've got the chess players, like playing the game, like the social manipulators, they're playing a game. 
in order to win and to get checkmate, which is what he does in a second. And then through the smoke, we see this, this guy coming through and he says, the future is more than binary, which I'm sure I don't need to go into the agendas that are being proposed in this. It's what makes us more than binary. It's what makes us more than binary. Elevation of so-called logic and reason, the enlightenment. Uh, you see here that the chess player, he does a checkmate. He makes the final move. So as we see all this agenda forming in this commercial, you see that he then is seen to make that final move. Checkmate. He wins the game. So the social manipulation is complete. It's uh, successful. The Babylon reworking the secret societies. And then we switch to an artificial insemination. These things are, on the one hand, being pushed in society, you know, sex without reproduction and reproduction without sex. That, you know, you're having babies outside of the natural way uh, and being produced. That was just one angle of it. But also it's, it's tying into this symbolism which was seen before. It's that new creation so it's making a new creation. You see, when it's the insemination is done, uh, you see that the cells split. So it, it starts off with two, then it goes to four, and then it splits and splits and splits. It fragments into many pieces. And then you see that the light, the light comes into the middle of it. So it's almost that atomic level recreation thing again. Because that, that explodes when they create this new creation, this artificial new creation, you see that it then splits and splits and then it explodes in space. And then we go into this, it's like a big bang again, this artificial new creation. Remember the Antichrist counterfeits God in, in so many ways of this new creation and the counterfeit of the millennial reign. Here is their false God. And that's what it morphs into. It morphs into their false god Apollo, which is essentially a reference to Nimrod. Apollo, Nimrod, that false horned god, that alpha, Aleph figure, the leader, the ox, um, that is the false one. It's a counterfeit of God. It plays God. It pretends to be as God, as it says all, you know, in the New Testament prophecies about the man of sin. And remember, the secret societies within Romanism this is their false gospel, to bring their false messiah through the veil into our world. And with it, this idea in the narration that the beast is going to take the world beyond convention and break mankind out of the box and set us free through a false illumination, just like in the Gnostic doctrine. A mind that's mastered its art is free to go beyond convention, to go beyond convention. So it seems to be referencing, they show they want to bring their so-called Christ to our world, to our realm, their cosmic Christ and all of that. But we know that's the Antichrist, that's a false Christ. And I don't know exactly what the Antichrist, who it will be or what it exactly will be like. I mean, we have some indications from the Bible a prophecy but I think you can get into a lot of speculation at this stage and when it comes when these things unfold if we're still here we will know uh, full well who it is and what it's all about because God gives us the discernment so there's nothing to worry about in terms of identifying it at this time because when it happens it will be without question <laughs>